Martha Krejci here. So tonight we are going to be talking about how to leverage social media to build your Young Living business. First things first, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and also the bell so you are the first one to know whenever new videos come on, okay? Um, all right, so now let's get into it. How to leverage social media to build your Young Living business, okay? So there are a lot of people out here right now that you see it. Whenever you go on to social media, you see, you can smell it a mile away when somebody is with a network marketing company, right? What you do is you see like, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. Promo, sale, buy. You don't really see anything else of theirs. They literally look like an extension of that company or they look like a walking, talking billboard for that company. So... My question for you, whenever you see that, what do you think, right? How do you feel? What do you think whenever you see that? For me, when I see that, I'm like, ooh, eh, no. Or if they message me, I'm like, mm-mm, not, not opening that message. Not going to let that one look like it was read, right? Like, for real, you guys, that is the, the quickest way to get people scared of, <laughs> Mike. Oh my word. If you guys could have just seen my husband behind the camera, he is doing his workout and he did some sort of Apollo pose. Um, okay. Anyway, back, back. I'm here. I'm back. Okay. So, uh, so whenever you see all of those promo, um, you know, the images that buy this, the buy that, buy one, get one free, da, 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 all of this, it just looks like crap. You guys, it looks cheap. It looks quick. It looks like like people don't even care about experience. They just want you to buy their stuff. You guys, that doesn't even work for corporations anymore. There's a reason that corporations are now moving to affiliate marketing and influencer marketing, okay? The reason why is because relationships need to be built before a product is sold. They count on the influencer to build the relationship and then say, and I use this stuff. And then the and then the 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 people, their their folks, their audience are like, oh, I also want to get that stuff or whatever, right? That is how that's how big corporations are even going. So what on earth do you think that you're doing whenever you're doing like these promos and just putting them out there and expecting people to buy you guys. If you're going to do that, that's totally okay. You need to set your expectations and understand that it's super unlikely that you're going to build your business with just that or with that at all. Okay? Really? Like those promos, those graphics, stuff like that, that should be in certain groups. That should be in like maybe your member group to let them know that the promos are going on and that sort of thing. But like a promo for a, say like a um, premium starter kit, say it's on sale or, or they added something to it. Like recently we got um, luscious lemon hand soap added to ours, right? In the US anyway. Um, whenever that happened, what you do, you don't just like put it out there like everybody, here's this stuff. What you do guys is you follow up with your leads. You follow up with people that you've already been talking to, people that you've already gone through the conversation cheat sheet with. If you don't know what that is, go for gold. It's in the, uh, there's a link in the description. That's how my team plowed through gold in six months, okay? So, and I show everybody how to do it. It's a system. Everybody can do it. It's duplicating thousands of times, okay? So after you've gone through that um, cheat sheet with people, the conversation cheat sheet, then you're in a place to like follow up. Well, that would be a good place to go in and say like, hey, just a heads up, they just added this to the starter kit. I just wanted to let you know. If you want it, let me know. If not, no big deal. You guys, you give them an out. You allow them to gracefully say like, no, I'm not, I'm not you know, I don't want to do it right now and not feel weird about it, not feel like you're not friends anymore or something like that. But that's how we need to be using those promos, not like boof, out into the public and think, oh, and now they're all going to join. No, that's not how this works. So here are the things. What, what should we, what we shouldn't be doing on social media is blasting out promo graphics, okay? And expecting people to just buy based on promo graphics. It's not going to happen. 
And if it does happen, it's only early on and it's only because that's your two to 3%. And they were gonna buy anyway. You could have put a picture of a teddy bear out there and said, hey, I'm doing this thing and we've got this sale or we've, you know, we've got this sale and I'm really excited about it, da, 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 da. A picture of a teddy bear and they'll be like, cool, I'm in. That's your two to three per percent, right? That's your two to three percent of your audience that's gonna buy whatever you're selling. But that's not how you build a business. Two to three percent of your, your audience does not allow you to build a business. That's your low hanging fruit. That's the easy stuff. The business is where you need to like have leads and have strategic follow-up and all of that. That's what Go For Gold is for, okay, you guys? Um, now, uh, what we should do on social media, okay, what we should do is we should be building relationships, okay? Now, I know that building relationships, even just saying that term feels very cloudy and ambiguous, like, okay, Martha, how do you expect to do that? How are you gonna do that? What does that actually even mean? Um, there are systems that I have for that, right? That's where you reach out to X number of people a day that you can sustainably reach out to and say, hey, how are things? You start building a relationship with them. I have scripts, I have conversation flows to be able to have normal conversations with them and then be able to convert it into a Young Living product or opportunity conversation if it fits also, it won't feel salesy and it won't feel weird for either person involved, okay? There's all sorts of, when you get into sort of like the Martha universe, you guys, you're going to realize all of the magic that's in there that you you didn't even know how easily you could grow your business until you got in here and you see these things available and then your mind is just gonna go like, Seriously, I get messages from people every day that are like, I couldn't sleep last night. And it's not the bad I couldn't sleep last night, it's I couldn't sleep last night because I'm so excited about where my business is going, period. That's what. That's the kind of messages I get. I'm not just saying that. That's legit something I hear all the time. Um, and then another thing that you need to be doing is you need to be open, opening them up to the conversations. So building relationships with people on social media. So um, that's where you're, you're commenting on their stuff and you're giving good, honest feedback. So you're, you're a part of the conversation instead of, that's awesome, drive by, you know, like the drive by comments that are sort of like, okay. Um, but what you do instead is you give good thoughtful answers whenever people have questions or whatever they're talking about you support them right um and then uh and then what you do is you open them up to the conversation so whenever you reach out and you say like hey how are things you have there's those benchmarks that you hit in the conversation uh so by the end of it they're open they're already, they've, you've, you've built rapport, you've already built a good relationship with them, they're going to be open to an opportunity based on the way that we say it at the end of Convert the Conversation, they'll be open to an opportunity with product or with business side, right? Um, and that's because we've, we've done the work. We've built the relationship, we've built rapport, but the beauty, you guys, in this business in specific, the beauty here is that the work is never really work. The work is building a relationship. The work is letting somebody be heard, letting somebody feel seen, right? Um, making somebody feel okay in their own skin, um, making someone feel safe in a conversation with you so they're able to talk about anything that they need to talk about. And this is something that I say often and I'll always say it. It's, it has never just been about business. What we do here at Young Living and, and the way that I teach building income streams through a brand, never ever just about business. You should be able to lay your head down at night and feel really darn good about the way that you were able to show up and serve that day. And then you also make an income and that's great too, right? But you should get to feel good about it. And that's because it's not just business. This is being a good human. This is being, uh, this is, I mean, it's, it's being a good human. 
I'm not even going to say anything else about it. It's being a good human, you guys, um, and and taking care of each other, which is really at the bottom of everything, what I believe we're here to do anyway, okay? So that is how you leverage social media to build your business and not in the slimy, skeezy, weird kind of way where people are like, oh, I don't know, right? Um, but in the kind of way where you're, it's, you're building an actual relationship with people. That's what this is all about. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.